Hello and welcome to DAP Radar, your most trusted source for DAP data. So in a previous video, I uh, did an introduction to ApeSwap, which is a DeFi DAP running on the Binance Smart Chain, broadly similar to something like SushiSwap uh, on the Ethereum uh, blockchain, or in fact PancakeSwap on the Binance Smart Chain. So I've done some, uh, did some, uh, I did a token swap and then did some farming, and now just to kind of finish off the, the um, kind of process, I am going to um, show you how to how to unstake. Um, so this is the homepage. Um, I'm uh, attached to um, ApeSwap. I'm interacting with it through uh, MetaMask, which I've set up uh, for Binance Smart Chain. We've done a video on how to set up um, your MetaMask to interact with the Binance Smart Chain. And we can see here um, what's been happening in the days since I did that original video. So we can see here I'm I'm um, I'm collecting, I'm farming some of these banana. So banana is the is the native token of ApeSwap. That that's kind of the token that they've created. Um, we can see here every uh, new block of the Binance Smart Chain, um, 10 bananas are created and then they are sort of shared between everyone who's um, who's staking and who is involved in ApeSwap. Um, so I've uh, earned uh, 2.14 uh, bananas and that's worth uh, $2.07. So obviously I, I did it with a very small amount because um, obviously that's that's how you experiment with things. Um, you know, never never uh, get involved with more money than you can afford to lose. That's always the way we think about blockchain. Um, so I'm going to harvest this. Um, so I'm going to harvest my two uh, two dollars, um, and that's obviously going to be an inter an interaction with the blockchain. So I'm going to use my MetaMask. So you can see that's set up for Binance Smart Chain. I'm paying gas, um, but uh, obviously uh, gas is is much uh, cheaper on the Binance Smart Chain. Um, so we just wait for this to go through. Normally it takes um, you know, kind of five-ish seconds for Binance Smart Chain. Um, three to five seconds, really. Um, so it's faster. So there we go. We can see now mm, there's nothing for me to harvest. Um, the banana has gone into my wallet. Um, so what I'm going to do now is this is the farm. So I put uh, token value. I put some banana tokens and some BNB tokens into this um, liquidity pool. And that's how I'm harvesting my banana. Um, currently earning an APR of a seven, uh, excuse me, four hundred and twenty-eight percent. So um, I'm gonna. That's what I've got staked in here. Um, so that's what was earning me the banana. I'm gonna unstake this. So um, right. So you can see that my stake value is thirty for thirty-five dollars. So I'm gonna unstake this. I've hit the. Uh, you see there. If you want to stake more, um, then you hit that one. If you're gonna take it out, you take that. So I'm gonna unstake the maximum. So that's the maximum I've got, and I'm gonna confirm that. Again, it's going to go through. Um, I'm paying a gas fee on the th on the uh, Binance Smart Chain uh, block blockchain. Binance Smart Chain blockchain. It's all a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? So I'm um, just waiting for that to go through. Okay, so now we can see um, I've got nothing staked. So if we go back to the home here, um, uh, yeah, that's all kind of come out. Um, and now um, I can. Um, I can uh, swap back out. So here we see I'm in the liquidity part of uh, the ApeSwap DAP. And um, that was what I was staking. So I was staking what we call a liquidity pool token. So I've unstaked that. Um, and that token is uh, consists of some banana. So it, that token, that liquidity pool token, consists of 18.3 banana and 0 0.046 BNB token. So that's what that sort of token um, uh, kind of kind of holds. Um, and I'm going to rem remove that um, token, which basically is going to is going to um, kind of split those two components out. So I'm going to remove the max of that. So basically, I'm going to get back um, those underlying the underlying tokens that I put in in the first place. So first, I have to approve that transaction. So it's going to cost me 19 uh, cents. So the approval there was happening because um, effectively that liquidity pool token, that LP token, is seen as a, a as as a token. And the first time that that uh, you you're asking your MetaMask wallet to interact with a new token. Um, it will it will um, ask for that approval. So now I've approved that, and now I do the I'm going to remove, um, going to remove that, and I'm going to re basically receive back what I kind of got in there, and that LP token is going to be burnt. So basically that token will go away, and the 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 kind of uh, what I put in there, the value I put in there in the first place is going to is going to be uh, come come out. So we'll see in my wallet um, that uh, I will I will 
you know, my to my token values will go up uh, by the amount um, on which uh, that were in that liquidity pool token. So we'll just wait for that to go through. So now we can see um, this is not actually the, the easiest way to see this, but we can see here the banana in my wallet has gone up. So I started off with zero banana in my wallet, and then I then I then I harvested those two bananas. Then I've gained back the eighteen bananas that I um, that I kind of locked into the liquidity pool token. And now to finish it off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exchange that out. So I'm going to uh, choose my bananas, and I'm going to exchange my bananas back for the uh, Binance um, the BNB. So I'm going to change those back and I'm going to get my BNB back out. So um, let's confirm that back out. Again, I'm paying a gas fee um, for the transaction. And now we can see that uh, uh, the my BNB token uh, total is now uh, 0 0.19. And that's because I basically, I've removed everything from ApeSwap and I've converted all the bananas back into uh, B. NB, which is basically the starting point. If you look at the original video I had, I started off with a wallet that had BNB in it, um, and then I kind of bought some bananas, and then I put them into the, the uh, into the liquidity pool, and then I farmed that liquidity pool token, and now I've taken it all back again. So, so that's basically how you uh, how you interact with uh, ApeSwap in terms of putting stuff in, and then obviously at some point you you will, you will want to sort of take it all out again. So those are the steps you go through. Um, thanks for watching the video. This is uh, DAP Radar, where we spend our time. Uh, interacting with dApps and uh, and looking to see what's happening and, and see how this uh, brave new world of uh, blockchain applications is being uh, built. Uh, so if you like that sort of stuff, please do subscribe to the channel. But thanks for watching and see you again soon.